Okay, week 20, metabolism one, vocab recall. I'm going to repeat the definition twice, give you some time to think of the answer before I say the correct answer. Let's go. A condition where the blood is too acidic due to a respiratory disorder. A condition where the blood is too acidic due to a respiratory disorder. Respiratory acidosis. A metabolic phase when complex molecules are broken down into simpler ones and energy is released. A metabolic phase when complex molecules are broken down into simpler ones and energy is released. Catabolism. The difference between positive ions and negative ions in plasma or serum. The difference between positive ions and negative ions in plasma or serum. The anion gap. The disease characterized by high levels of glucose in the blood caused by insulin resistance. The disease characterized by high levels of glucose in the blood caused by insulin resistance. Type 2 diabetes mellitus. A substance living in all living cells that provides energy for many metabolic processes. A substance in all living cells that provides energy for many metabolic processes. Adenosine triphosphate or ATP. A measure of metabolic acidosis. A measure of metabolic acidosis. Base excess or BE. A metabolic phase when energy is used to make complex molecules from simpler ones. A metabolic phase when energy is used to make complex molecules from simpler ones. Anabolism. The disease characterized by high levels of glucose in the blood caused by insufficient insulin production. The disease characterized by high levels of glucose in the blood caused by insufficient insulin production. Type 1 diabetes mellitus. The key salt that acts as a buffer to keep the blood pH within a narrow range is called The key salt that acts as a buffer to keep the blood pH within a narrow range is called a bicarbonate. And a condition where the blood is too alkaline due to a metabolic disorder. A condition where the blood is too alkaline due to a metabolic disorder. Metabolic alkalosis.